general, in many, in recent time, if you have listened to the statement of Babangida, from his statement, he has acknowledged it. He also said there were powerful forces beyond him that were behind that. What I think Nigerians should do now is rally around President Bola Tunumbu to actualize all the renewed hope programs to make sure that our founding fathers, our fallen heroes, heroes unsung, those who are still alive and the martyrs can peacefully say that we have arrived in the Nigeria of our dreams. Historians have captured the incident that happened. People like yourself have noted it. If you remember uh, Pinache, uh, I'm trying to remember his full name now. I think he was from Chile or which country. After so many years with what he had done, history still revisited their matter. If Adolf Hitler is seen today, history and the people will revisit those matters. Right? We need to move in accordance with our order of priority. The major thing now is for us to have 24 hours of power supply. The major thing now is to unify the country. If the country is not unified, your quest might not be achieved because they can take advantage of that little space that have not been unified. And President Tunumbu is working hard to unify the country. Recently, subsidy was removed by President Tunumbu. That's why the fact that people were afraid to take that bold step. It's a bold step. And where will the money go? One, education. Two, infrastructure. Three, the Nigerian working class. A living wage. Not a pretend wage. A living wage will be given to them. Before you know it, our dependency on oil will drop. You know why people are crying on petrol now? Because almost everybody on petrol through their generator, right? If by the time that issue is resolved, you and I will not need petrol to run our homes anymore. President Tinubu has said he's going to put the money into transportation. If you go to London today, the rail transportation is very effective, like what we are beginning to see in Lagos. You go there, there are bus transportation, very effective. There are air transportation, very effective. There are water transportation, very effective. Leaders of the past of those nations have plugged their funds into those areas. You hardly see anybody saying the cost of fuel is high in developed climate because they have alternatives. It is only when you want to please yourself, you can take that route. But science has also improved now. We have electrical vehicles. Lagos State Government recently purchased electrical buses. In my house now, I've converted my petrol generator to gas. I have saved myself 264,000 that we have spent in three weeks to 9,000 Naira. If this issue have not happened, would I have thought otherwise and all of that? So we must support the government to make sure that the canker worm that is eating our economy is removed. As it is now from the statistics, it, Nigeria makes 100% of revenue. About 95% go to pay debts. So what are they going to use to pay salary? What are they going to use to build infrastructure? Even if you continue to borrow, that 95% will go to over 100% then what will be the future for you and I and the younger ones and the people unborn? Yes, sir. The democracy of then, did you have any improvement compared to what we experience now? Frank Fanon said, every generation, out of his own relative obscurity, will determine his mission, either to fulfill it or betray it. In 1960, people before 1960 will tell you that Nigeria was far better. In 1980, People in the 60s will tell you that Nigeria was far better. In 2000, people in the 90s will tell you that Nigeria is far better. What President Tunumbu is trying to do is now take all of these things, problem together, solve them, and take us to a Nigeria that everybody can plug in. 
Now, you as a press man, all of you as press people, beyond the fact that you are media people, there are other side businesses you want to do. So it will not depend on your knowledge, your capacity, and your reach to develop yourself in accordance to how far you want to go in material acquisition. Elon Musk is not working for government, but Elon Musk is plugging on the opportunity provided by the American government to become the richest man in the world. Elon Musk has not collected contracts, as far as I know, from government, but he's more wealthy than many nations of the world. That is the kind of Nigeria that President Tunumbu administration is trying to build, that every one of you here can even become richer than the country, depending on the opportunities created that will help your brilliance to grow. That is what the government is looking at. Thank you so much. Your name again, your full name again, sir. My name is Comrade Ayodele Adewale. I'm the pioneering secretary of June 12 coalition. Dr. Bekor and Sumputi, late Dr. Bekor and Sumputi, was the chairman and I was secretary to Dr. Bekor and Sumputi. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Olusegun Roberts, the appointed cardinal of the West Africa College of Missionary Bishops, Nigeria chapter. Uh, who is a uh, Kashima Wabiola to you? Oh, Kashima Wabiola to me. A man with passion, a man with a goal to change the course of the nation Nigeria and by extension the nation the 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 the, the continent of Africa MKO Abiola was a man that didn't care whether you're rich you're poor from whatever background he was able to identify with both Christian both Muslim and anyone you can think of I remember also of blessed memory uh, Sonny Okosun who wept profusely okay. when he learned of the demise of Chief MKO Abiola. Chief MKO Abiola beyond Hope 93 was that one man, one president that Nigeria is yet to have. But now with the renewed hope I strongly believe that indeed we would also have that replica in the spirit of MKO Abiola in the current government that we have. Uh, just, sir, in one statement, just address uh, Kasuma Abiola, maybe philanthropist or any other name. Yes, he's beyond a philanthropist. He is a changer. He is a Mughal, business Mughal. He is a revolutionist when it comes to human resources. He is a great man and he is one man that is determined to give quality and give quality leadership in everywhere he found himself. A great father and a great mover of our nation. If possible, great Abiola is alive today. What could have been the narrative? If great Abiola is alive today and everything went the way it was meant to go, I'm sure all successive governments after Chief MKO Abiola had been declared president and had ruled would simply be building on the very foundation he would have laid in 1993. I believe strongly that our democracy is founded on the foundation of the sacrifice that he made for a democratic nation, Nigeria, and indeed the continent of Africa. He will be glad and he will be excited to see men and movers of the society building on the foundation of hope that he laid for the nation Nigeria. Once again, I'm Olusegun Roberts. I am the appointed cardinal of the West Africa College of Missionary Bishops and also the Archbishop of the Winning Faith Mission International. Thank you, sir. God bless you.